What is going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Back with another video. This is gonna be a garage install type of video. It's been a while since we've done one of these. So this is what we're doing for this video. We got a, quite a few parts for different bikes. Usually we do like one bike type of thing, but this time we're doing a little thing here, little thing there. So it's a bunch of bikes that we're gonna be working on mainly. I think the H2, H2R and the Rush. Uh, I have a lot of other stuff for different days, but you know, little stuff for this video that I wanted to kind of film and show you guys. We got Mr. Mikey over here. We're doing work in my garage because we don't really have a shop to work at anymore. So the good news is since two bikes are gone, the KTM and the Prelia. KTM is still for sale at Molly Moore Sports if you guys are interested in that bike. Uh, but the Prelia is gone, so we have some more room. And there is also an idea where uh, that I would buy a lift and kind of put it maybe in the back corner or something like that. I think that could be an option. Comment down below what you guys think if we want to do more work here in the garage. I know it's already crammed, but I think we have a little bit of room. Maybe if I put it where the R1M is, I think that could work. Like in the back corner, right by the toolbox. Could work, possibly, maybe. But we're just trying to use what we have, pretty much. I have a lot of tools, so that shouldn't be an issue. But let me show you guys some of the parts that we're going to be doing today. And uh, even some parts that we will do some other time. I don't know if I even showed you guys, but I put even more titanium stuff on the H2R. It's all over. Honestly, we got last stuff we did on this thing i did spend a lot of money on something it's probably the biggest mod that's coming for the h2r we'll keep that kind of a secret for a little bit but if you guys are following me on instagram same name as the youtube channel then you could put the two together and you would know what i bought for the h2r but yeah it's something huge and i'm excited for it but it's gonna take like three months so because it's very custom so not anytime soon but i did get something huge for the h2r that i'm very very excited for but these bolts used to bother me so much because they were silver and ugly. We got black titaniums over here, which make it look so much nicer, so clean up front. The only thing that is silver is the river logo, which I did end up buying right here. This is the OEM logo, which I think this was like $70, believe it or not, just for the logo, but I wanted to get the OEM one and I'm gonna try to, I don't know if I'll powder cone it or I don't know if I can anodize it, but I wanna make this either chrome black or just black if I can't do the chrome black. Just so it blends in a little bit better, but still there. Cause I think the silver doesn't look bad, but it's the only thing that is silver. What do you think, Mikey? What do you think I should do, chrome black or just black? Maybe chrome black. Yeah, so that's, we're gonna try to do chrome black if I can't do it because the paint on these is custom by Kawasaki. I think it's called like mirror silver chrome or something like that, but it's pretty much a black chrome. This one is a satin, so I don't even know. This is still chrome, but it has a satin finish over it. I don't even know. We're gonna try. If someone can pull off making this chrome, then we'll do that. If not, then we'll stick with just like, I think a flat black. I don't think a glossy black. Or maybe something satin like this to match the bolts. If you guys can't tell here, Rizoma and Motivation hooked up with a bunch of reservoirs. We got the reservoirs for this bike right here, the clutch on the brake which we're gonna do probably some other day. I don't think we're gonna be doing it today, but we also got them for the rush because those are kind of like very in your face and very noticeable. I did tell you guys if I should get like gold, but you guys kind of were like, hey, it's a little bit much. And I do agree, it might be a little bit much, takes away from the bike. So we just did the black, you know, nice looking reservoirs, similar to what I have on the Ducati. Uh, actually, they're gonna be a little different. This has too much of a window. The one I got has like a little notch, if you can see right here the reflections so it's not going to be as visible fluid wise like this one but it should clean up both this and that i think the r1m has a blue one i didn't do any color stuff because those do tend to probably fade over time a little bit more than obviously the black and i didn't want to do green i think i'll be too tacky and too much and definitely not gold on this thing because it'll be too much as well mikey oh you already installed it <laughs> wow yeah. literally i've been filming for five minutes and he already has this on so yeah, no more to the little OEM piece. I really liked it on this uh, bike. It was just so much easier now that I'm used to it. So I literally bought this. That's funny, this is, so this is what we're doing today. I bought this quick release gas cap that I have on my H2R, on my H2, which already looks a lot better. And I bought these levers that I have on my H2 for my H2R. So we're literally like switching parts. The gas sack that was on here, I have a matching one that's on here and the levers are on here are gonna go to this bike and they are somewhere back here. Okay, let's grab them. The only thing that's different between this and this is that these are the shorties, 
which honestly look a lot cleaner. Maybe I should have stuck with the shorties, but the clutches, if I haven't told you guys before, are very heavy on these bikes. So I got the long ones. We'll see how they look and fit. I'm not gonna put any lever guards, so I don't think it should be an issue. These are the levers for this. And we're mainly doing this, you guys might be asking why, because you already have the Bonamichis, which are really nice. I have the slit in here, uh, which is by the way for wind. So when you're going high speeds, the wind won't push your brake at all. So that's why there's a slit right here. Unfortunately, these ones don't have that. And I would say that these are a bit lower quality than the Bonamichis for sure. But I had to replace this because of the design of the Bodomichi. So you see this dial to adjust the lever. When I turn it, you can see that it hits right here. And you can tell right there that I've scratched my front stay, which is, you know, a structural metal piece. So I didn't want to scratch it anymore. So that's why I'm changing it because it's just annoying, especially having to park in and out and all that. So Mikey does his magic and he's already done with this. Yeah, plus the good news about these ones is that I've had these for years, but the green is very similar it's almost the same green as this right here so i do like that you know it's gonna have a little green accent and this green is really good quality the anodizing on this is really good where it's not fading so that's why i was like you know what i know that this is good it's been good i've had it on for like three four years since i've owned this bike four years actually it's our anniversary because my birthday was what i think a couple weeks ago and less than two weeks ago and i bought this bike on my birthday in 2020 so it's been yeah 2021 2022 2023 2024 four year anniversary with the h2 so comment down below happy birthday for the h2 i guess i don't i don't know man anyways <laughs> yeah i've had this on for literally about four years and you can see the green is still great obviously the bike doesn't stay outside often but you know still no fading at all so that's why i'm like i know these are great lovers let's put them on this bike even though i like to have something a little different this works, so we're sticking with this. Put this back somewhere here. I do have also a lot of titanium stuff. Okay, so we said we're doing this, which I'm gonna remove the Italian flag right here. I'm sorry, Mikey, I love the Italian <laughs> flag, but it's an H2, so it doesn't kind of fit it, you know? I'm pretty sure I kept it on my Ducati over there, but there we go, I'll clean it up in a sec, but that looks cleaner. Yeah, see, on the Ducati, I kept the Italian flag because it's an Italian bike. And so yeah, gas tank over here, cap, quick release. I'll probably try to... Are these bolts easy to take off? Yes. Okay, might take them out just to take some measurements so I can get them in titanium. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll probably, I'll see if I can get, probably do black titanium. I think green will be a little too tacky, but just to clean it up, so no silver on both this and this. Last thing that we're gonna be doing today, hopefully, is this right here. So these are gold titanium bolts. These are, as I've said before, the really expensive ones because they are huge. And they are gonna be going right here, replacing these really ugly ones. So this is really gonna clean up calipers and it's gonna look really clean with all the other gold titanium stuff. I have to press this out. We're gonna tap it real quick. My kid's really fast with it. Levers are already off, so. We do have some extra bolts and stuff, but I don't know if we'll get to it. As you guys can see, this is the kickstand assembly in green titanium and a bunch of other titanium stuff here and there. I don't think we have time to get to this stuff because the kickstand assembly, I think we need to lift the H2R up, which is why I said might be buying a lift if we don't figure out a shop solution. We'll look around the bike if there's something else that we can use. I do have some extra green titanium bolts over here that we could be using for the H2R. But that's mainly it. There's obviously the other parts, which do you have the other parts for the H2R, by the way? Uh, the sprocket, yes. Yeah, sprocket, sprocket and chain, chain and all yeah, that yeah. stuff. Yeah, I think that's it. Oh, and the H2R little thing, the cover. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You don't have the rotors, or did you, do you have the rotors? still have the rotors. Oh, okay. We have a bunch of other parts, but those, we probably need like a shop or a space to yeah. for those. So once we figure that out, then the big parts like that will go on. But for now, we're doing the little stuff, which still matter a lot because I've been riding this a lot since I was supposed to retire the H2, but you know, the bike doesn't want to retire. So I've been riding a lot. And that's why I was like, the quick release thing is really nice, especially when I'm used to the H2Rs now. So we put on this and the levers are really annoying. So, you know, just tidying up the bikes. And we have some big stuff. What do you think I got for this thing, Mikey? I got something really huge for this thing. Major upgrade. Oh. <laughs> what do you think it is? Uh, should I say it? Uh, yeah, I'll uh, probably bleep it if it's right. <laughs> yes, three whole months of waiting, but I'm excited for these because they're very custom. Hopefully by then we'll have a shop so we can install them too because <laughs> we're going to need that. We can't install that major upgrade of the HR here in the garage. Hmm, let me see how that looks. Because I got the long ones. It doesn't look bad, I don't think. I think the short ones do look better. 
But it's a heavy clutch, so oh, that's why. Should have gotten the shorties for weight saving. Oh. <laughs> I didn't think about that. It's okay, I'm just messing around. Maybe later on if we find something like a lot nicer that also is a good fit, maybe I'll get a third set of levers for the H2R. Trying to perfect the bike. I don't know, man. It's been a while since we've done any work. I mean, all these bikes honestly need oil changes at this point. Whenever we get the shop, or actually even if I get a lift, then it's doable here too, right? That's that's worst case scenario. So if we couldn't figure out a whole shop situation, I'm, that's when I'm going to be buying a lift here so we can at least do some, you know, the basic stuff here and stuff like that. How's it? One, one is done? It's good, yeah. Those are pretty long. Do you think they're longer than the Bonamichis? Um, no, it's yeah, the same. Yeah, about the same. Yeah. About the same, maybe because it's like a solid kind of piece. It looks a little different, but I do like the green, so matching. Yeah, and this notch is interesting. I wonder if this means that this is where it would be if it was shorter, because I don't have that weird notch here, which is interesting. I'm gonna pull the bike forward so we can do the other side now. And then hopefully we're gonna be doing the rush. And after that, if we have time, we can do something else. If not, that's it. Mikey's doing this so fast. I've been filming for 15 minutes and he's already almost done. All right, H2R is all done. Mikey's doing this. You guys go. I also did end up sharpening this so you guys can barely even tell. Sharpie is your friend. So now there's no scratch over there and as you guys can see, I can turn it all the way and it's not touching. That was the goal. Same thing on the other side. Now we're good. I do like the slit of the other ones, but I also do like the green. So I don't think this is a downgrade at all. I think it matches and looks good. And now we're doing this thing. Mikey's already done with this side. <laughs> it's okay, I can just show this side when this is on. Let's weigh them. Let's see. 2.7, 1.6, about, yeah, about half. That's how it usually is. Two of those is like one of these. That's titanium for you. Adds up with all of it, but honestly, it's mainly for the looks because <laughs> the stock ones, these look absolutely horrible, especially on a nice limited bike like this. That's why they put the nice parts on it. And we are torque specking it, so it's all correct. We don't want the calipers to go flying on us, <laughs> <No>, right? <definitely. laughs> the clicks are satisfying. I like it. It gives me a sense of security. Yeah, yeah, the first time we used my torque wrench. Yeah, Loki looks kind of silver. <laughs> it needs to be like brighter. Like these golds look a lot better, but maybe it's the location or maybe the size of the bolt. Like I wish it was more gold like this one. Yeah, it definitely looks kind of silver. Well, it is what it is. It's titanium. At least it looks better than these ones. So this is done. This is done. This is done. All within a few minutes. Now we're just going to take one of these off so we can measure it so I can get black titanium ones. And that should be it for the day. All right, we are done here. Mr. Mikey left. He's the GOAT. Best tech ever. And uh, we're done. As I said, we did the gas cap. We took the measurements. I ordered 10 because five here and five there. 10 black titanium bolts. They came up to over $100 just for these. But we didn't stop there, of course, knowing me. Uh, ended up buying these disc bolts right here in gold titanium so those alone were i think about 150 dollars just for these disc bolts over here i do have the banjo bolt right here in gold but apparently we can do this side too so we're gonna have both of these in gold as well oh yeah spent a decent amount on titanium again as always i have an addiction to titanium and carbon fiber but you know we're trying to make these high-end bikes even nicer so yeah the rush is getting a lot more titanium than i expected but i do like the gold titanium it's definitely grown on me and i think this has enough we'll probably eventually do some more as well maybe if we can i think everything is titanium already but yeah that's pretty much it it's an extra video garage install because some of you guys do enjoy these videos so here i am filming for you and Honestly, between seeing this, I think I'm just very used to this because Mikey said that he likes the longer uh, version better. But I think I'm just very used to this. So that's why I'm like, ah, oh, this looks better. But now the bikes look a lot cleaner and we are done. Uh, but yeah, obviously, as I said, a lot more parts coming soon. I ordered some more stuff. There is big stuff coming, as I said, for the H2R. So yeah, stay tuned. I'm excited to share all the mods oh, and the big stuff that I already have for the H2R, which are performance mods. And then we can do maybe some top speed runs and stuff like that. So that's exciting. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video. Please drop a like, subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one. Be sound right safe. And sorry if I'm slow or like not talking loud. I'm very sick right now, but I went out riding and I came back and I was doing this. So I'm still trying to grind, but hopefully I have to, some time for recovery after this since I filmed two videos today. So stay tuned, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out and ride safe.